I've got a problem, a flat tire. And it's in the valve stem, so I can't even patch it. I just went to the bike shop and I asked for a new tube, thorn resistant tube. And the guy said, we can't even get those. And this is the last box I have of a regular tube to sell you. And I know where I go, there's a lot of thorns. And so what am I going to do? And he said, why don't you make your own thorn resistant tube? I said, how do you do that? And he gave me a tip, and I'm going to show you right now using the old tube and the new tube and combining them to make a tube that will resist the thorns. If you'd like to see how to do this, join me. I have the old inner tube off, and the first thing I'm going to do is just take a scissors and remove the old valve stem. So I'm going to go in here like this and kind of cut an oval and I squirted some goop inside this so it isn't going to be as clean as your job might be and the goop was supposed to plug up holes before I knew it was the valve stem get that in the screen for you and I have a big old hole with some goop in it now the next thing I'm going to do is cut on the inside of the inner tube all the way around and come back to this oval that I cut out. Now if you take a look, I'll just take the scissors right down the interior seam and I have this goop to contend with. I'll wash that out later with a garden hose. You won't have to deal with that. Now just a warning when you cut open this old bicycle tube, run your fingers without gloves on and see if you can feel any thorns because if you picked up a thorn and you put it on your new tube you're just going to puncture it again. So after you've done that you take your new tube and just inflate it a little bit and just so it gets its shape and when I do this I do want to mention I've always used a hand pump and my brother gave me this little uh, Ryobi air pump, battery powered air pump, and when I first got it I thought, why do I need that? I've got a bicycle pump. The reason I need that is this. You can just go like this. No fuss, no muss, and you've got some air in the tire. Uh, I love that thing. And then what you do is you take, and I'm just going to go where the old valve stem was, you take your time and put the old tube around the new tube. So you just dress it around there like you're putting a sleeve on your arm. I'll go ahead and do that off camera. There's no reason for you to watch this misery. Well, these two tubes were about as slippery against each other as I could imagine, so here's my little workaround. I put a little bit of blue tape, and the tape won't stick to the rubber because it has that fine powder on it that they put on tubes, but it will stick to itself. So you can see I went around several times and what I'm going to do now, I don't even know if I'm going to remove the blue tape. I don't think it'll harm anything. It'll just burst when it swells up. And I'm going to go ahead and try and put this inside the rim now with the outer tube laying on the new tube as an extra protection for thorns. So let's see what happens when I do this. Actually, that wasn't too bad, and a lot of the blue tape came off. So now I'm going to go up to between 45 and 60 pounds. My new double thickness system is ready to go. You can see it's holding good air. Now this is no racing bike. It's a beach cruiser. I'm not going that fast. so even if it's a little bit sloppy on the inside, I don't think it's going to be a big factor. So I'll go ahead and put it back on the bike now. Well, here I go on a little test run, and it's really smooth. No lumping, bumping, works great. Thanks for watching.